Poppy Hearties, thank you do. It's just me, Scotty McClue, popping up to say hi to every single one of you. Welcome, welcome, welcome. Of course, lots to talk about tonight, and so little time to do it in, but lovely to have you with us. There's Hiram joining us. Hi, Hiram. Thank you do, and a very warm welcome to you from me, Scotty McClue, the world's top broadcaster and the first lord of the internet. This is the big one, TikTok's top talk show, and we are live right now so come and join us tell 10 to tell 10 to tell 10 what's your favorite sport i happen to be a rugby man of course but i like rowing i put it on my cv once and people thought it was rowing as in rowing with everybody so there we are but absolutely not dinky do lovely to have you with us and a very warm welcome hiya paul good to see you and welcome from me scotty mcclue we are of course live on the big one and uh, we popped up earlier i have to say and uh, just said hi to everybody at the time so there we are so i thought quick pop up just say hello see what's happening and have a little bit of a catch up with those that weren't able to join us earlier what i have done though i've uploaded it to the scotty McClue youtube channel and you can get yourselves on there subscribe and you can watch all the latest lives if you happen to miss them so it's a sort of catch up it's a sort of scotty McClue player just for for you to say dinky do uh, have a jolly good day please yes absolutely courtney of course i can hello boss man how are you doing tonight johnny boy johnny lovely to have you with us and welcome 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 can you all follow me please we're very very short of followers lots and lots of viewers but we need more followers so when you come on just click follow and like hey i'm having a bad day your lives always make me feel better says steph dinky do steph Steph, lovely to have you with us and welcome 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 swaggy remember you never ever ever ask anybody their pronouns that's their business dinky do zach lovely to have you with us and a very very warm welcome good that you're with us good to know we're worldwide of course so let us know where you are watching a lot of people watching in indonesia and uh, in australia new zealand can we get a hoya you can legend scotty Ma says michael dinky new good vibes here absolutely sophie dinky new scotty mcclure scotty can you say hi it's my birthday i can knees lovely to have you with us wales i'm from glasgow welcome has the gallic language died no koashin for goodness sake shaw sack absolutely maury scott worldwide in new york ed excellent stuff what time in new york is it i ask you all right dinky do from sam do you wish amelia a happy birthday yes i can of course i can happy birthday do you do pantos well not at the moment during lockdown but i make an excellent pantomime dame so they are i could probably manage a buttons as well dinky do well scotty farming how are you can you sing me happy birthday no we can't we get a copyright strike there's only one scotty McClure, says johnny boy thank god he adds uh, so there we are what do we got here i broke my arm feel sorry for me well we always feel sorry for you so don't worry about that hi i'm kind of sad says dream dream you never ever ever need to be sad scotty mcclue is here live talking to you and saying dink you do love you says knees i thank you knees uh, we can't get me scotty mcclue i don't know what we can't get so there you are well you can follow me on here because we are building the world's top TikTok show. So there we are. Everybody follow me when you're coming on. What are you doing, says Darwin? I am talking to you, Darwin. So pin back your lugs and listen big time. Absolutely. Can we get an eye on a brew? You can have any brew you like. North Wales calling Dinky Doo, Scotty McClue. Did you see what happened in Bristol? Yes, I did. The village with the longest main street. Where am I? You are in luck. Hulk. 
You sing the song, please. I can't because of COVID. I don't want to. I have to two meters distance from you. Some of you are maybe 10,000 miles from me. How are you, Scotty? What dinky do you farming? Absolutely fantastic. I thought we'd do a quick pop-up just to see how everybody's doing. What degree did you study? An arts degree, Zach? So there we are, wonderful stuff, and welcome, welcome, welcome. If you've just joined us, remember to follow as soon as you come on. Go, whoops, click, follow Scotty McClue on TikTok. Wonderful. Now, guys, I've uploaded a lot of TikToks for you today, so you should be able to get them. Also, you can catch up with 1,246 videos. Hello, Scotty. How are you, says Finn? Take you do. 1,246 videos and the one and only Finn. There we are. Whoopsie doo doo is political science and actual science. Well, you know, it's very interesting there. It depends on what kind of chemistry you're talking about. Tell me a cool fact about Robert De Bruce. Robert De Bruce was on the run in Tarbert in Argyle, not Tarbet, Tarbert in Argyle, 11 miles south of Ardrishig, and uh, about 40 miles north of Campbell Town, and Robert the Bruce was on the run, and he was starving to death, and a lady goat appeared and allowed him to suckle her and have her milk. And he vowed that when he became king, goats would roam free in Scotland, wild goats. And that's what has happened. The Duke of Dundee, was William Wallace a traitor? No, 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 no. Of course he was a traitor, Zach. He was a Scotsman. How could you have a Scottish traitor, for goodness sake? It's a contradiction in terms. There we are. Greeks versus Romans. Who's superior? Well, I think the ancient Greeks have always been the superior people, followed by the Scots. So there we are. Laurie, you never ask anybody their pronouns. Tut, tut. So you love haggis. Oh, we love haggis. Uh, if you could, would you have dinner with William Wallace? Well, I don't know if he's my type, to be honest with you. But uh, it might be interesting chat. I might interview him on the Scotty McClue show on national television. So there are, did the black Douglas die in Spain, says Ragnar. I don't know what happened to the black Douglas Ragnar. So there we are. Am I your type? Oh, well, Lisa, we don't know. Why not ask people the pronouns? Because there's nobody's business, Laurie. You don't ask people things like that. That's like saying, how do you vote? Have you ever tried rabbit meat? And if you did, did you like it? Because I love it. The dynamite, I've had a rabbit pie. Uh, there's an old goat next door to me, says Johnny Boy. Well done, Johnny Boy. Did you enjoy Braveheart? Yes, I did enjoy Braveheart. Excellent stuff. I like all that stuff. What's your favorite dish from Scotland? Oh, my favourite dish was probably cauliflower and white sauce. There's one for you. The goats at Shield Bridge are a nightmare. Yes, and you'll see them if you come over the old road from Coolport. You'll see goats roaming wild. Hi, Scotty. Hi, meet the talkers. Lovely to have you with us. Have you seen Outlander? Bits, Ragnar. Yes, I haven't actually had the time to sit down and watch the lot. There we are. Thoughts on Jeff Capes, a very strong man. Uh, do you still, do you like Still Game? Well, somebody said I was the inspiration for Still Game. Scotty McClure, you see. Love you all. Thank you very much. Scotty, you look perfect, mate. You're very, very kind. I thank you. I'm from Dundee. No problem, Laurie. I'm staring him off for a pay. Uh, so there we go. The Loch Ness monster is the Loch Ness monster real? Well, I would, I would, I would imagine so. 
<laughs> see what I see what I just did there? I would imagine so. Edinburgh or Glasgow? Well, both, I think. The beer's looking slick. I thank you. Very kind of you. Still games hilarious. Good, David. I'm glad you enjoy it. Um, I've had a bad day because I got out the tractor and didn't put on the handbrake and it crashed. Farming. That was very, very silly of you. That was an omission. What education do you have? Ooh, stacks and stacks and stacks of it. There we are. Hello, matey. How are you? Two degrees, a couple of degrees. You're so lovely. OMG. One, two, three, four, five. Thank you. Hi, Scotty. How are you doing? Kareem. Lovely to have you with us. Are you a fan of cheese in general? I used to have a cheese intolerance as well as on the radio. My father was an extra in Highlander. Have you seen it? Uh, no, I haven't seen it yet. Have you ever owned a horse? No, but my grandfather was a cavalryman in a regiment called the Scottish Horse, and he fought at Gallipoli in 1915. Good evening, young men, says J.A. McFab. J.A. McFab, lovely to have you. Are you McFab of McFab? Do you like pancakes? I adore pancakes. So there you are. Wonderful stuff. Not cow pancakes, I have to say. Do you wear tweed all the time? I am a walking advert for Harris Tweed. So there you are. Dinky do TikToks. You're very, very kind, Kareem. I thank you. Are you Scottish? Says T seven two two. Um Yes, I'll go for that. I think so. So there we go. Hey, Dinky Doo, what's the best tartan? Oh, there are so many, Ragnar. I think the Highland Light Infantry and the Seaforths used to wear the Mackenzie. The Argyles wear the Black Watch. So there you are. So we've got that. Jesus loves you. So it's okay. This I know, for the Bible tells me so. There we are. Little ones to him belong. I am weak, but he is strong. Did you know that? Would you give back the six counties if it was up to you? If the six counties wanted to be given back. So there you are. And would the South take back the six counties if it was up to them? This is what we need to discuss you see, big stuff here. Pronouns we never, ever ask. Uh, so there we go, never ask anybody's pronouns. After a very bad day, I tripped and fell down the stairs of school. I'm okay, though. Harrison, you need to be very careful. You would be rushing somewhere. Don't rush. That's why in school they used to say to us, no running in the corridors. Uh, I think you're my long lost father. Well, I don't know how long has he been lost. Uh, my name's James, so there we are. James, thank you for telling us that. Uh, you can now go and reflect on what you write, Scotty, and say, is that your best stuff? Okay. Have you ever smoked a joint? My wife smoked a joint on Sunday. There we are. We had smoked beef. It was very, very nice. Do you like steak? So there we are. Well, I've got a steak in one or two companies. Hello, Sergeant. Remember me? Of course, Alvaro. What do you think of Scottish independence? Well, we haven't got it yet, Callum. So it's difficult to pass judgment. But obviously, Scotland could do very well economically on its own. Come on, England! So there we are. Mackie, never ask anybody their pronouns. So there we are. So see what we think about giving back the six counties. Now, who have we got here? Yes, a lot of boring stuff there about these pronoun stuff. I don't know where that came from. Uh, what's the best Highland ball? Well, I think the Caledonian Club in London used to do a cracker. The Gillies Ball at Balmoral Castle is an absolute beauty. Then I would say probably the West Highland Ball in Oban at the end of West Highland Week. That's the great one, the Argyle Ball. There we are. Another good one would be the Argyles Ball. 
in Stirling. These are all very, very good. I don't think we get a debutante's ball nowadays. Would you bring back the Birch Scotty? Well, Numpty Heed, I think I might bring it back for people that cheek up to the polis. There we are, and the polis can give them a birching. It's basic human kindness to ask pronouns to ensure they feel comfortable. No, 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 it's not Mackie at all. It's very, very invasive and very rude and very non-politically correct to ask pronouns. That's people's own business. So there you go. What's your thoughts on Scottish? It depends. Well, just as we were saying. See, do you speak any other languages? Spanish. Hola. Uh, Milamo. Milamo Scotty Maclou, Senior, Senior Maclou. Je regarde, mais je ne parle pas français très vite, si tu parles longtemps, peut-être que je comprends. Sprechen Sie Deutsch? Nein, nicht Deutsch sprechen. Ich bin ein Ausländer. Nicht verstehen. Uh, Previet, Previet, uh, 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 das Vedan, yeah. uh, If you like cauliflower, you should try deep frying it. It smells like sauerkraut. But it's wonderful. Yeah, but would that then become a Scottish dish? Deep fried cauliflower. Is it battered? So there we go. That's what we need to do. How are you doing, Scotty? Love your content, says Swingbot. Swingbot, we thank you. Thank you. Satin and Nibor says, Craig, fine Nibor, I Nibor. Scotty, I watch you with my mum. She loves you. She says you've got beautiful energy. Isn't that lovely? Thank your mum very much. She's obviously a very, very creative lady and very insightful. Hello. Hello, Dinky Doo. Can I have a shout out? So there we are. Yes, of course you can. Hello. Hello, Dinky Doo. Yes, everybody's here. And uh, what have we got? You loved that pun so much. Why did I did? Have you ever walked up Loch Lomond and down Loch Lomond as well? There you are. Do you mean Ben Lomond? So there you are. There's Bob. Bob never, ever, ever ask anybody their pronouns. It's an embarrassment, I'll tell you. Very non-correct. So there we go. Thoughts on Brexit? There is not one single advantage of Brexit apparent. And it's cost us already £200 billion to date, with absolutely nothing to show for it. Tut, 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 tut. So there we are. But we all got ripped off in the process. So, they are. so remember, when people moan about the economy and say it's COVID, £200 billion of it is Brexit. There you go. Now, who have we got here? Do you like a nice curry, Scotty? I do mean... Ah, curry. Yes, I understood what you meant. I have had a curry before. There we are. And had one after as well. So, uh, do you like curry pies? Yes, as a matter, Courtney, I do like a curry pie. Very, very nice. Love watching your lives, says Farming. Scotty, how are you doing tonight? Angie, you are so good. What a fabulous listener and viewer you are. And it's very much appreciated. If I could give out a prize for top viewers, I'm sure you would be there. Are you a Meghan Marple fan? I think I don't think Miss Marple's first name is Meghan Nancy. There we are. I don't know what Miss Marple's name is. I've always just known her as Miss Marple. Yes, absolutely. Agatha Christie. There we are. There's Melina asking pronoun. Never ask pronouns. I'm from La Kilpid. I know it so well. Do you know the Corrin? Do you know Miller's Bridge? Do you know uh, Achnabrek? Do you know Castleton? Do you know um, what else have we got? Do you know Cairnban? <laughs> Do you know Crinan? Do you know? Do you know Pultalach? Yes, all that sort of stuff. How's that? Do you know Duntroon? Uh, what if there were no philosophical questions? Oh, that would be terrible. What would we do? So there we go. Do you like England? I adore England. I absolutely adore it. I've lived and worked in England so much. 
It's beautiful. There we are. Do you eat cakes? If I can get my hands on them, yes. So there we are. Fantastic. Uh, what decade did you grow up in? Well, I haven't actually grown up yet, so I suppose it would be in the 2030s would be when I would grow up. There we are. I want a Greg's, but uh, it's closed at the moment. Well, don't worry. Uh, you could have a McClue's pie. Do you hunt foxes? No, I love foxes. I don't hunt at all. So there we are. Unless I'm looking for my glasses when I'm trying to get out the door. There we are. Can you say happy birthday to my pal? Yes, I can, Michael. No problem at all. Guys, can everybody follow me, please? We're very, very, very short on followers. I have thousands and thousands of viewers, but only a handful of followers. So please follow me. I mean, this is the biggest TikTok talk show on TikTok Live. And I think we'll be lucky if we've got 5,000 followers. So please, let's get that up to 10,000, 15,000. There we are. Nice to talk to you. Tiamo. There we are. Nice bonnet to dig it. Ah, guten tag. Yeah, yeah, guten tag. Yeah. And uh, even when you speak Spanish, you sound Scottish. Well, you see, because I am Spanish, I sort of speak Spanish with a Scottish accent to try and uh, get, let the Scots understand. You see what I mean? There we are. And um, I do my omelettes of Spanish as well. What economy uh, would Scotland use to support itself? Anything you like, Zach. Wom pum, if necessary. I would think the pound Scots or sterling. So would either use sterling and just have uh, share a currency with England or we'd have the pound Scots. Because remember, we had to seriously devalue the pound Scots to facilitate economic union in 1707, 313 years ago. I'm always missing you live because of work. Do you have any hobbies? I do, Mr. McFab. My hobby is live streaming on TikTok for you. That's what I do. That's my hobby. Abby, don't ever ask anybody the pronouns. Oh, dear. Could you say happy birthday to my friend? She's your fan. I can indeed. If you're reading this, I hope something amazing happens to you today. Stephen McCall, something amazing has already happened. You have got in touch. There we are. How good is that? And it's wonderful. And we're live on TikTok. How amazing is that? You know, I mean, 30 years ago, I wouldn't have thought of going live on TikTok. Do you like England? I love England. Are you on the radio? No, I'm on TikTok, Courtney. Uh, have you heard about the Polish soldiers in World War II based in Scotland? Yes, of course. I uh, My folks knew them. So there we are, Ragnar. You say happy birthday. Yes, we can indeed, user. Happy birthday, user. You're such a cute guy. There we are. Uh, what have we got here? Thank you for following. Yes, absolutely brilliant. There we are. Abby, don't ask anybody their pronouns. You should. That's dreadful. Very, very not politically correct. Tot, tot, totity, tot. Tot, 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 tot. There we are. That's like asking somebody which way they vote. Ooh. You need to think. Need to be more thoughtful. There we are. I asked that too. We know. Uh, can we go live, mate? I want to talk to you, lad. As oi, 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 posh geezer. There we are. Who's the posh geezer, Lewis? Lewis is a posh geezer, guys. Scotty, I cycled 162 miles and fell off on the last mile. Oh. I remember somebody telling me when they stayed in one of the islands, they were going out on their bike and they had a bottle of whiskey. And somebody said, you should really drink that in case you drop it and it smashes when you're cycling. So he said, I was glad I did because I fell off several times. <laughs> Don't try that at home now. That was for entertainment purposes only. Do you like the Vauxhall Corsa, the Nissan Micra, the Hyundai? Well, I've had a Micra, uh, and it was excellent. I had a Vauxhall Cavalier, 
and I haven't had a Hyundai, but I believe they're very, very good cars. Now, Dinky Doo, can I have a shout out from you, says Michelle. Michelle, of course you can. A big shout out to Michelle from Scotty McClue. Do you like the English stroke England? I adore the English stroke England. Best late night radio phone in host of the last 30 years. Dinky do. Tony, you say very, very nice things. I thank you. So there we go. Lewis, Dinky do. Yes, correct. Shout out. Scotty, this is turning into a program. Yes, an excellent program. So who have we got here? What's a traditional Scottish dish? Ooh, um, I would think curry. There we are. Fantastic. Has anybody ever had curried haggis? So there we are. Here's a, here's a real strange one. Are you racist? Scotty McClure? Why would you ask that? I'm the most anti-racist person in the world. So they ask the silliest question I've ever been asked. So there we are. Why, why, why do you ask a question like that of the world's most anti-racist person? You give me a shout out from Rock Hill and Rab. Yes, Rab Free Rock Hill. <laughs> we love it, dinky do. Now then, what have we got here? There's a twinkle in your eye tonight, Scotty. What have you been up to? I've been at the Errol Greedy. I must face up. Ooh, that's lush. I can't tell you guys. This is heading for TikTok's top TikTok live. Thank you very much. So there we are. Enmart. Never, ever, ever ask anybody their pronouns. Have to go, mate. See you later. Have a good night. Farming. Have a fabulous night. And dinky do to you, sir. There we are. I'm from Castletown. Castletown in Lockilpid. I know it very well indeed. Yes. How marvelous. So there you are. If you're going past the Crinan Canal heading into Ardrishig, you'll see a little shed halfway up the bank. That's known as the Waster. <laughs> Loved your radio show at night, so was late for school the next day. AJ, I don't think you were on your own being late for school. Whiskey, a good night. So there we are. There's James. Do you like younger men? I like everyone. So there we are. Fantastic. Have you been to Devon in England? I have. I've been to glorious Devon. Fantastic. How wonderful is that? Whatever happened to wee fat boob? We don't know. I've not heard of him for a while. What's your opinion on agriculture? I love it. I used to live on a farm. So there we are. And the only thing is my tweed smelt of farm. People used to say, hmm. What's that? Is that Scotty's jacket? <laughs> because when they were spreading, of course, there we are. What's the thread count on your flat cap? I think it's um, several thousand per firkin. Is that right? Do you think we should colonize Mars? Do you mean take it over and try and rule it? No, I don't. I don't think so. There we are. What was your profession? My profession was broadcasting and live streaming now. It's, it's what we call live streaming nowadays. It used to be called broadcasting. So there we are. Out of Scotland, a cycle past a lot of farms. It's a bit smelly. Well, it depends. I mean, it's a, a very fresh country smell, you know. So I smelt of the fresh country. Do you think Ireland will get its six counties back? Well, Ireland, the six counties are in Ireland. Yes. So it's you've got to remember that Ireland was independent for thousands of years. You see? And uh, in a way, Ireland has actually colonized the world. You know, there are, are, are Irish people everywhere. Fantastic. And that's a good thing, I think. 
because uh, as a race, they are wonderful people. Have you heard of Whithorn, Scotty? Scott, I know it like the back of my hand, the Isle of Whithorn, St. Ninian. There we are. Shout out to Kieran. You started in your relationship. Very happy. Carmi, I don't think that's the truth. I think we'll just let you go, la. <laughs> there we go. He's gone. Being silly. There we go. We don't like that. Uh, people that tell whoppers, it's sad. So they, I want to wear a flat cap and tweed, but I'd get picked on so much. You're 30? No, I, I used to wear a flat cap and tweed when I was your age. So there you are. Did you eat a Jeffrey cake today? Sadly, no. But I would have done if I could have done, if I'd been proffered a Jaffa cake. So there we go. Uh, you a football fan, matey? Nope, matey. So there we go. That's gone. Should Scotland regain its monarchy when it becomes independence? Zach, Scotland doesn't need to do a single thing about its monarchy. It has its monarchy intact now. Status quo. Her Majesty is the Queen of Scotland and Scotland's, pardon me, Head of State. That's my tea talking back there. Shout out, yes, to Dean, dinky doo -dee. What football team do you support? Well, where do we start? We would start with Arsenal, a big Arsenal fan, and then where would we go after that? Then we would go to Aston Villa. Then we go to Birmingham City. Then we go to Chelsea. We go to Crystal Palace. We go to Leeds, to Newcastle, to Sunderland, over to Burnley, to Preston North End, you know, to Blackpool, come up to Carlisle. And uh, what else have we got then? Yes, and we've got Hull as well. Very, very nice. We like Hull and uh, Rangers, and Celtic, and St. Mirren. Oh, there's so many. Partick Thistle, all that stuff. What do you think of Aberdeen's new manager? I don't uh, follow uh, football, to be honest. In my experience, the Irish Republic era doesn't want Northern Ireland Ireland back and vice versa, sad to say. Now, Happy Squirrel, I'll put this out to the world. Guys, is Happy Squirrel speaking verity, right? Would Ireland not want the six counties back, and would the six counties not want to be part of Ireland? The only thing is, Ireland is in Europe, and that's a very juicy prize for poor old Brexited Northern Ireland. Have you ever been to Kilcoan in Ardmorgan? I have been to Kilcoan Many times, I used to go over in a wee boat from Tubbermory to Mingary and Kilhone and Ardnamarchen, and sometimes I would go up the Ardnamarchen lighthouse. Yes, the policeman's helmet. There we go. And have a look over. And the boat was called the Loch Bui, and she was moored at the steps opposite the Missioner's Hotel at the McBrain Pier at Tubbermory. There we are. A gone age. You need to stop giving out people's names. Let's just get you away there. Pest. Good on about that. Guys, remember, don't put people's names in, names of your pals, all that stuff. I'm not going to use second names. I like your voice, says Hental. I thank you. Yes, mate, no to independence. Um, I think most people would want independence, Ross, but we're keeping the queen. You see? So maybe what you could do is you would change your union flag because it would become passe and you would swap that for the saltire. So there we go. So I think independence will happen. So there you go. Um, what's your favorite Highland game? Oh, I think uh, tossing the camera, eating tablet in the tea tent, that sort of thing. So there we are. Ex-loving, you need to just go away and grow up. Shocking. So there we are. Gone age has gone. Arsenal are superb. Yep. 
Do the Scottish dislike the English? I think I might move up there later, but I don't want to be the... No, 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 no. Only the very, very, very slow of study Scots would dislike the English. The English are beautiful, beautiful people. But Westminster has not been kind to Scotland over the last 313 years. And Scotland has been depopulated and uh, disenfranchised and... Uh, had its money taken away, all that sort of stuff. Scott is a Morton fan. Cowshed number one, Mondaton. Can you make me happy? No, Bob. You must make you happy. But watching Scotty McClue live on TikTok is a start. Have you got that? <laughs> there we go. X loving, I think I'll just ban you because that's pathetic. Absolutely pathetic. Pathetic. Grow up. Gone. Right, there's X loving gone. Um, who have we got here? No. Uh, we're giving some second names there. We'll get rid of all that. I'm from Northern Ireland and can definitely say there would be all out war if United Ireland was passed. Ross, why on earth would there be all out war? Why on earth do you have people, human beings, beautiful people, fighting? Argy barge is one thing. I don't think there would be all out war. I think that's passé. There would be no point in that. So there you go. There we go. I see. You know, I mean, all these years ago, how long ago is it now? 50 years ago, the British Army had to go in to keep the peace because Irish people were fighting Irish people. How pathetic is that? How pathetic does that sound? It's grow-up time. Chat, chat, chat. Loud war. Grow up, I say. There we are. Evening, Scotty. Cold one tonight? Oh, it depends. Do the Scottish dislike the No, they don't dislike the English. The Scottish love the English. Would you ever consider wearing a deer stalker? I used to. Regularly wear a deer stalker. Yes, of course. It's known as a fore and after. Or sometimes a go to hell hat. Scotland would be a third world if we go independent. Okay. Are you talking complete nonsense? We send £75 billion a year to Westminster. If we kept the £75 billion, where do you get your third world from? Where are you getting that from? The reason Scotland feels like a third world country is because of austerity foisted upon it from Westminster by people that probably couldn't even find Scotland on the map. So there you go. Rule Britannia. Well, Britannia is a false thing. Rule Britannia was a song made up by a Scotsman. And uh, there's no such country as Britain. So there you go. It's just a landmass, Hamoud. So what you'd be talking about is Rule Englandia. That's the, you change the song to rule Englandia. There we are. Uh, John, please don't say my name. So there we go. Ban this guy, please. Yes, right. I shall. I think I have banned him, to be honest. But if he does say your name, I will ban him. What's your opinion on Mary, Queen of Scots? She was a poor soul, Johnny. She had a very, very tough time. Very poor security, you know. And she got chased through the streets one day. She was a poor wee soul, Mary Queen of Scots. And of course, even when they tried to execute her, they made such a mess of it. Embarrassing. Yes, poor little thing. There we are. Uh, so never, ever ask anybody their pronouns, Ellie. You should know that by now. Uh, would you? So we've done that, the dear stalker bit. Great to see Nicola Sturgeon surviving. She's the best leader for Scotland. She's an outstanding leader, actually. 
And I thought to myself, they shouldn't even have a political party going against her because it was a discussion on parliamentary procedure, nothing to do with politics. So they shouldn't have let uh, these questions go out. Um, who have we got? There's somebody saying they like watching old people stream. I don't know if I've seen any old people stream. I think it's all young folk like ourselves, to be honest with you. So there we are. I ordered pepperoni, but it got plain. So there we are. Now, what do we got here? Up the Royal Artillery, says Nosy. Are you a British Army officer? Fantastic. Up the Royal Artillery. So there we go. Now, thoughts on Michael Collins. Well, who shot him? Partly he was a, a, a terrific guy, but who shot him? Uh, so there we go. Yes, she did a very poor security. You're right. But here's a wee thing for you you might not have known. Two things. Mary, Queen of Scots, I mean, golf was invented in the 1600s, effectively, on Leith Links. But before that, Mary, Queen of Scots, played a form of golf. And uh, she used to get the young French army cadets to caddy for her. Les caddies, the cadets. That's where caddy came from in golf. And also, when she was ill, they boiled up Seville oranges in a little pot and they would shout, Marmas my lad! Marmas my lad! The lady is ill! And that was Mar my lad! Marmalade! Did you like that? So there we go. Now then, who have we got here? Labour would have been good under a Jeremy Corbyn government. Well, Doogie, you very nearly got a Jeremy Corbyn government. And I think it would have been very interesting, um, you know, because things are very vacuous politically at the moment. And Jeremy Corbyn was the genuine article. Now, I'm not political, and I'm not sure I would agree with a lot of things about Jeremy Corbyn, but um, he very nearly won the last election, but won. And I think that panicked the powers that be. So there we are. Have you ever been to Tinnabruch? I know Tinnabruch like the back of my hand. I used to go into the glue pot at Kames. Fantastic. And uh, Tinnabruch, I used to call in on the RMS Loch Fine. She called in in the morning and she called in on the way back in the afternoon. And I was very often on the bridge at Tinnabruch, the house on the hill. Lovely, lovely, lovely. And um, who have we got here? And of course, Glenda Rule. I know Glenda Rule so well. Thoughts on the recent stock market exchange rates? Interesting. That's all I'll say about that. Uh, so there we are. Is the noise shortbread tin makes when it opens? That's uh, vacuous. Yes, I suppose it is. Good, well done. So there we go. There's somebody shouting shush. <laughs> oh, that's the guy I was going to ban, isn't it? Hold on. Yeah, I'll ban him because he was shouting out somebody's name. Right, Leo, you're off, la. You're off the hook. Clear. Gone. Excellent stuff. Right, has everybody followed me? Guys, do follow me, please. We're very short on follows. The story of Mary, Queen of Scots, sound exactly like Princess Diana could use the same words. So there you are. Yes, at the end, uh, security was the problem there. I think Diana would have been alive today if we'd had the Royal Protection Squad looking after her, but it's a bit late to say that. Have you been in St Andrews? Yes, Jack, yes. Got my COVID jab for the 13th of April. Well done, Mac. So there we are. Now then. Ari, at the end of a very long logistics chain, the Royal Artillery. Thoughts on Jeremy Corbyn? I think he's a thoroughly decent human being and I think was very, very badly treated. You see, we need to get a better quality of press in the country that reflects things. We don't want somebody that's just 
pushing the party line. You know what I mean? That's the stuff. Something about you is so soothing. Rose, thank you. Very much appreciating. Can you sing the sash for me? Uh, yes. Oh, a tartan sash is lovely at a dance. And I would like to wear a tartan sash. There we are. That's the sash for you. Have you ever been to Tinnabruch? Many, 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 many times. There we are. Uh, John Canning never, ever, ever sacked from anywhere, ever. So how dare you even put a lie like that out there? I'm going to uh, ban you for lying. A shocking thing to say about anyone. There we go. That's John gone. There we go. Uh, now then, who have we got here? Has everybody shared the video, guys? Random question. What are your thoughts on Bojo, as they call him? I don't, I mean, you you know, it's all there. What you see is what you get with Bojo. Although I remember having a very senior conversation with some very pivotal and important people about 25 years ago. And the Tories were really struggling to find a leader. They were kind of scraping the bottom of the barn a bit with names. And somebody said to me, who would you suggest, Scotty? And I said, well, it's a long shot, but you could have a look at Boris. And another very senior person went, Boris, I was thinking that too. So, yeah, isn't that interesting? And that's 25 years ago before we sort of knew him as he is. Have you ever been to Swindon? Very many times, yes. I know Oxfordshire very well. And I would go out to Swindon, you know, a very nice part of the world. Now, am I not right in thinking that there was virtually no unemployment in Swindon at one point? When do you think Scotland will get independence? Well, they'll either get it within the next year or two or then sometime after that. Have you ever been to Tyree? No, but I know a lot of people from Tyree and um, I believe you don't have any trees. Is that right? You've got virtually no trees, but you've got wonderful schools. There we are. I love you all, so thank you do. Do you like a good cheeky ham sandwich in the morning? So there we are. Well, with a wee bit cheeky pickle on it would be very nice, but I don't usually have time for a cheeky wee ham sandwich in the morning. But sometimes I'll have a cheeky wee plate of wheat bangs. There you are. Uh, so what's your views on? Don't know. Not bothering about that happy squirrel. Not of any interest to me. So there we are. And um, do you like very cheeky hot men? I don't like cheeky people at all, to be honest with you. And uh, as for hot men, well, you know, it, it they sweat a lot, really, if they're working in the heat. Uh, so there you are. So, so no, nobody likes cheeky people. And, you know, people that are very hot need to, you know, cool down. That's what I would think. Uh, have you ever heard of a place? No, Dark Fox, tell me more. Cheeky, cheeky. Are you looking forward to the Scotland match tomorrow night? Mac, I, I wouldn't have known it was on if you hadn't said Thank you for that. So there we are. Scotty, I'm skint, pal. Could you lend me a tenner? Johnny, boy, Johnny. You would need to pay for the tenner, but it depends on many songs you want sung. So there we are. I could probably lend you a basso profundo, if that's any help as well. But they're expensive too. So there we are. I love Scotland. Hello from Norway, from Norge. Lovely to have you with us. Have you been to Leith Links? Well, for goodness sake, Tartan Blood, I worked in Leith for two and a half years. So, so why would I not be to Leith Links when I was actually working round the corner? Tut, 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 tut. So there we go. Shush, says Robin. Robin would like a bit of quiet. Now settle down. 
Right, I've told them, Robin, so they should all shush now. That's excellent stuff. So there we go. What's your thought on uh, rat poverty? I think it's such a shame the mice have got the money these days and they swank about and the poor old rats are there with their, their big tails and their and their yellow teeth, you know. It's such a, such a shame. There we go. So, who else have we got here? You've been going for hours today. No, Mikey, just a wee pop-up earlier and a wee pop-up tonight. Very, very nice, although I must push off. So, there we are. Thoughts on an English Parliament in Scotland? Oh, no, I don't think. I think a Scottish Parliament. So, there we are. Here's a guy that has a very strange diet. So, there we are. What have we got here? Nicholas Sturgeon Fan Club. Oh, I bet that's a big one. Can you sing a sea shanty, please? Yes. Fifteen men on a dead man's chest. Yo, ho, ho, and a bottle of prop. Think to the devil and go for the best. Yo, ho, ho, and a bottle of prop. There you go. How about that? You have nice teeth. I thank you. Thank you very much. Yes. Was it who did it in the film? Oh, it was Jaws. <laughs> Jaws with James Bond. So there you are. Now then, have you ever been to Aberdeen? I worked in Aberdeen at the Grampian Television for, uh, for a year. I was up in Aberdeen. So I've been to Aberdeen. I've lived in Aberdeen. I've holidayed in Aberdeen. I've been to the dice to meet Fauci off the plane. Ah, oh, I so undutifity. That's marvellous stuff. Ever been to Cambridgeshire? Very much so. Lord Reith the Labrador, who you'll see behind me, swam in the cam at the Bridge of Sighs. Just at the Bridge of Sighs, you'll see a, a wee slipway into the cam. And Lord Reith went down that and had a wee swim. <laughs> Then he shook himself over a courting couple. There we are. Are you unemployed? You're sacked. Never, ever been sacked in my life. And uh, never been unemployed. There you are. Have you ever been? Well, no, wait a minute. When I was 16, did we have a, a couple of weeks in the door? Can't remember. Can't remember how it worked. Have you ever been to Northampton? Yes, of course I have. Uh, to pick up my shoes. Everybody makes shoes in Southampton. What are your pronouns? You never, ever ask. Pronouns, George, that's a big no-no. Very non-politically correct. So there we go. Who's in the photo? That's me. Going on YouTube to see your old clips of your radio show, Classic Radio. AJ, they're all on. Guys, follow me, please, and get on to the Scotty McClude YouTube channel. Just put that into your search engine. I'm going to have to push off. Can we have a wee squeeze? Enjoy your cheeky smile when you're bringing out the tunes. What happens to Trident after independence? Well, I suppose they could uh, rent the space. We could charge a rent or something like that. Where in Scotland are you from? All of it. It is in the county of Londonderry, and we are looking over at Scotland. Ah, how lovely is that? Well, I know the county of London, Derry, or some people call it Derry. There we are, uh, by the banks of the foil. Have you ever been to any of the Scandinavian countries? Sadly, I mean, I haven't, but it is my intention to go and be travelled. Now, I need to push off. Uh, I wonder if we have time for a very quick tune. I'll give you a nice wee number on the squeeze box. There's the squeeze box there, guys. Okay, so dink here. Now then. Thank mm -hmm. you. 
Did you like that? So there we go. Excellent stuff. Right, folks, have a wonderful night. This is Scotty McClure saying dinky-doo to all of you. And Moot, I'll have to uh, ban you. There we are. What a shame. There we go. Guys, we have to ban you if you're being extreme. Absolutely. Lovely stuff. Thank you very much for watching tonight. Um, we'll pop back up random, have a look at every single one of the TikToks, guys. There's some great videos for you there. Get on to Scotty McClue YouTube channel and subscribe. Follow me here so that I know you're there. We need lots and lots of lovely followers and like all the videos and let us know what you think. This is Scotty McClure saying dinky do to every single one of you. Take great care of your dear selves. Good night. God bless and ta -las. Oh, I'll sing you the goodbye song. Goodbye, everybody. Goodbye. Take care, everybody, as you go. Goodbye, everybody. Of Vita Zane. Au revoir and a cheerio. Dinky-doo.